Hey what is up guys, Weiwei here and welcome to Minotaur and Wargaming. Today in this video I'm going to show you what you need to get started to build your very first miniatures for your tabletop wargames. So you've just purchased your first box of miniatures for the game you have chosen to play and you are super excited to tear the box open and get started. But once you open the box and remove its content, you find out that all the parts are unassembled, not painted, and are all on sprues. <gasps> but have no fear, because I'll show you a list of things that you'll need to remove your miniatures from that sprue. Yeah, boy. Firstly, and a must on the list, is a pair of flush-sided hobby pliers. These are to remove your miniature parts from the sprue. Keep in mind, they should be the ones that look like this, and mm. not like this as these standard pliers are prone to denting and damaging parts when you clip them out. Second on the list is a scalpel or hobby knife. These are for general cutting and an easy way to remove pesky mold lines on your miniatures after removing them off the sprue. Third on the list is a cutting mat. These self-healing cutting mats come in all shapes and sizes, and with this the price may vary. So pick the size that best suits your work surface when you're doing your hobby. Fourth on the list is a set of fine hobby files. These are for smoothing out rough parts of your miniature and also for cleaning up mold lines. These can be bought individually or as a set. Now you have everything you need for removing your minis from your sprue. How would you put them together, you ask? Well, this would depend on the model. If your models are made of plastic, you'll be needing some sort of poly cement or hobby plastic glue. If they are metal or resin, you'll need super glue. If your brand of models comes with bases for your miniatures to stand on, you can choose a base for them. And with this, you will need PVA glue. This will be suitable enough to glue basing materials such as sand or flock to your bases. But if you are feeling adventurous, you can use plastic glue or super glue to stick on a variety of other materials to the bases of your miniatures like cork, plastic bits, or larger rocks. Once you have all your tools and glue, you can now start building your miniatures. For this demonstration, I'm going to be building a Necron Warrior from the Warhammer 40,000 Indominus box set. Nice. Start by removing the contents of your miniature set you wish to work on and place it on your work area. Then refer to your instruction booklet. Most box sets come with these and will show you the parts you will need to assemble your miniature. When you have identified the area of sprue you will need to cut from, work your way through with your pliers and remove the necessary parts you will need for your mini. With your hobby pliers, be sure to cut with the flat surface facing the model. This will ensure that the part left is as sprue free as possible. This will help when smoothing it out with a scalpel or file later. Once all your parts are clipped out, you'll be wanting to remove the mold lines and the remaining bits of plastic from the sprue. For the mold lines, gently use your scalpel and scrape across it. Make sure not to go too hard, otherwise you might flatten out or indent the area that should be smooth or flat. When you get to the remaining sprue plastic, grab a file and slowly file them down. Be sure to check how far you are filing. Just like removing the mold lines, if you remove too much, it will be noticeable and you might destroy some fine details on the model. Now that you have your parts clipped out and cleaned, you can now start gluing them together. Once again, refer to your assembly guide and follow the steps on putting your mini together. In most cases when assembling a miniature, you'll start with the base and the legs. Remember to use the appropriate amount of glue depending on the part or the surface area you are adhering to. Once together, be sure to hold it for a few seconds to create a bond between both parts. And once they hold, you can move on to the next part. Be sure not to rush the construction of your model, as some parts may not be fully cured or be strong enough to hold itself up. So take your time and make sure both pieces bond together before gluing on the next part. Once the legs are on, work on gluing the arms and then the torso. I generally like keeping the head last to ensure the miniature is always looking in the direction of the action or at a piece of equipment, or maybe just looking off into the distant sunset. Anyway, once you are done with the assembly of your miniature, set it aside for some time to ensure all the glue cures between each of the parts. You can work on other models in the meantime. Once your model is ready, you can choose to base it. For this demonstration, I will show you a nice easy way to base your miniature. This will require some fine sand, PVA glue, and a cheap dollar store brush. Start by painting the top of the base with PVA. If you get some on your model or the rim of the base, don't worry, just wipe it off with your finger. 
Let the glue sit for a few seconds, then dunk the base of your mini into the sand. Once out, give the base a little shake to remove any excess sand, and set your miniature aside. Then with some watered down PVA, with the same hobby brush, just dab the diluted PVA on the surface of the sand. When this dries, it will seal the sand in place and stop it from coming off when you paint your mini. Congratulations! You have now fully assembled and based a miniature. If you have more models in your kit, be sure to put them together and base them. In the next video, I'll be going over what you will need to paint and how to prepare your miniatures for painting. If you enjoyed that video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you have any friends that have just started a hobby, please make sure to share this with them too. For more videos, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon for any alerts for any upcoming videos. I'm also on social media, so please click the links in the description below.